Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. So this video is for anyone who has ever had a mod or mods for any Paradox title like Victoria 2, Europe Universalis 4, Crusader Kings 2, and you've, you've found that they're not compatible together or one of your mods doesn't function properly if you try to use a second mod, that kind of thing. What I'm going to do is show you how to, to splice mods together and make them work nicely. So the, there's just basically one program that you're going to want to pick up. You're going to want to go to Ninite.com and you're going to pick up this program called WinMerge under the Developer Tools section. WinMerge is designed to allow you to take two separate folders or files and compare the differences between the two. So you download WinMerge, get that installed, and then what you're going to want to do is go to your documents, go to Paradox Interactive, find the program that you're trying to modify. In this case, I'm going to show you how to merge um, a Game of Thrones mod with my keyboard shortcuts mod. So once you're in your, your directory, the problem, the reason why these, these mods don't always play nicely together is that when you make mods that modify base files to the game and two separate mods both modify the same file, the game doesn't know which one to load. And so it'll just pick one of them. And the problem is that, you know, maybe Game of Thrones needed that file to function properly and now the game just crashes because it took the mod file from keyboard shortcuts, for instance. So all we need to do is go to Game of Thrones, right click. Once you have WinMerge installed, you're going to have a contextual item called WinMerge. Click on that. And then it's gonna say files or folders to compare. On the left, we wanna compare the folder Game of Thrones. However, let me make sure I did this right. That's the save location. We actually wanna go into the mod folder and we wanna say WinMerge compare. And we're gonna compare the Game of Thrones mod folder and then we're going to compare it with the mod that we want to splice in. In this case, keyboard shortcuts and interface adjust. Now, once we select the folder, it's going to say folder selection, say open. And so now what we're telling it is, yes, compare these two mods to each other. Now, under the view category, we can set, we can have it show identical items. We can have it show left unique, right unique, etc. In this case, what I'm trying to do in this specific instance is I want to patch my keyboard shortcuts mod on top of the Game of Thrones mod. Now there might be circumstances where you don't want to do it that way. Maybe you want to instead create a new conglomerate mod of all of your favorite mods. And in that case, it might be better to instead go into here, copy the folder, create a copy, and then modify a copied version from the base mods and just have a, an end result folder. Hopefully that makes sense. But in this case, we're going to just directly patch on top of the Game of Thrones folder. So what we want to see then, I've got the Game of Thrones folder on the left and the game and, and the keyboard shortcuts mod on the right. So I don't care about left unique items because they'll be fine. They are unique to the Game of Thrones mod. They don't matter. So we'll say we don't want to see identical items. We don't want to see left unique, but we do want to see right unique and different. So in this case, I have a, a readme.txt file. Now, when you're in WinMerge, you can just open it up and it'll show you. This is the readme that I put in that just tells you what the keyboard shortcuts are for Crusader Kings 2. Do you need that? Maybe, maybe not. But for the sake of showing you how to do it, the easiest way is you can either click this button, copy left, or Alt plus left. Notice how it's got this broken indicated file. When we go Alt left, it's going to say, are you sure you want to copy? We say yes, and now, ta-da, they match which is perfect. If you refresh, now because it's an identical item, it doesn't show up in the list. So in here, we can see that there is, within this folder, there are a number of files that Keyboard Shortcuts has that Game of Thrones doesn't. And these ones are the problem files. These are the ones that would cause the mod to break if you tried to load them both separately. These ones are right unique, which means that the Game of Thrones mod does not use them, which means that these files would actually work just fine. If you had two mods that had completely different files that they all modified, it wouldn't make any difference at all. But in general, we're going to say shift plus up to select a, a bunch of files, or you can just click and hold shift and click. Um, but we're going to just copy over the rights, and then we're going to refresh. And now we're left with just the files that are different. So now this is, this is really the truly the best part to WinMerge. When you open up files that are different, it's going to show you this interface. Now we're going to use keyboard shortcuts because I love them. Hold down the, the Alt key and press down. It's going to take us to the first difference in the in the two files, and it and it lines them up perfectly via uh, length, and, and and it matches all the information, and it's great. So in this case, the Game of Thrones mod has a keyboard shortcut L for raising the levy. 
my keyboard shortcuts mod doesn't have that. I'm just going to have, and you have to like kind of make a mental determination on every single entry. Like, what is the intended effect? Which one is right? Which one do I want? And in some of this is kind of you have to just learn how to do it. But in this case, I'm going to err on the side of the keyboard shortcuts mod is probably correct. And so I'm going to hold Alt and then press left to copy the right information to the left side. Then I'm going to press Alt down and then Alt left, Alt down, Alt left, Alt down, Alt left, Alt down. In this case, the keyboard shortcut for previous province in the Game of Thrones mod is still set to the comma and the period. We want Z and B. So copy down, copy down. And now everything's the same. We can press Control S to save, Control W to close. Now text files are identical. Select the next file, main.gui, go down. We can see that the Game of Thrones mod disables technology. The keyboard shortcuts mod does not do that. What's correct? In this case, Game of Thrones mod is not supposed to have technology, so we're going to leave that alone. But because we're trying to splice the keyboard shortcuts mod on top of Game of Thrones, we're not going to copyright. That, would, that wouldn't make sense. So, again, we're only trying to make the left side like makes sense. So we're gonna tab through a bit. Shortcut B for icon bar type back. I do want that. Um, looks like the the ledger isn't bound in the keyboard shortcuts mod. We do want that. The find province button is not bound. We do want that. And the find characters button is not bound and we do want that. Once we've got it all done, control, control S, control W, select next file. Uh, some more keyboard shortcuts. Again, just erring on the side of the right. The right side is correct. Control save, control W. Next one, the unit menu. We got shortcut key for button embarked. Disband unit. Now this is where an old you can see here actually an old version of the keyboard shortcuts mod had been implemented at some point. Shortcut X and it's see how it's on different lines. But we want to just update it. So we'll go alt left, alt left, alt left, alt left. Alt left, alt left, alt left, 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 left. And in most circumstances, in this specific case, it's just going to be about copying right to left. And we are done. Now notice we still have one file, if we refresh, that they are different. And that's okay, because this is something where I don't want the technology to be updated. So from there, now we can go back to the top level, check every folder, check every file, and then once you have no more differences, you're done. Now, when we go and we launch Game of Thrones mod, it will have keyboard shortcuts spliced in on top of it. So that is how I handle merging in and making conglomerate patches and stuff like that. And I hope that this type of video helped you out. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll, I'll be happy to answer and uh, enjoy playing your multiple mods all patched together. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.